Also being felt here in Metro Detroit, a former Oakland University basketball player, among those seriously injured in today's horrific attack. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is live in Rochester. After speaking with the team's coach, he joins us now live. Simon, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Glenda. The coach taking to social media like so many others with ties here at Oakland University in the wake of this horrible terror attack. I, I sent the tweet out because obviously we were all devastated here when we heard, and I just wanted our fans to know. For Oakland University men's basketball coach Greg Campy, it was surreal. This morning, learning his former player, Sebastian Bellin, was hurt during the Brussels terror attack. They dropped him off at the airport, and six minutes later, the, the bomb went off. Bellin suffering injuries to his leg and hips, requiring shrapnel to be removed. A total of two surgeries, but it is expected he will recover. You, you see the videos and you see that on TV and it makes you mad, but when it happens and it happens in your family, um, you know, it's an emotional thing. It's, it's a devastating emotional thing. How he's kept in close contact with the program. He comes back every summer and he's been a very big part of our program. A conference champion back in 2000, Bellin later played pro ball in Europe. Now in his 30s, the native of Belgium has a wife and two kids on the west side of Michigan. Now employed with a sports company that connects college players with European pro teams. He was about to fly to New York City and planned to meet with Coach Campy soon. He had sent an email during the week and said he wanted to talk to us about one of our players and placing one of our players in Europe. You know, we need to say prayers for him and that, you know, one of our fellow family members is uh, down right now and, and he needs our prayers and he needs our support. Coming up at 6, we talk to the former head of Detroit's FBI who explains why he thinks this happened in Europe. Live in Rochester, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon. Right now, 